Give me some jam to break away. All right, so welcome back, everyone. So the Education Ministry's Vacation Revision Program is about to begin, and the Ministry's Curriculum Coordinator in the Office of the Chief Education Officer, Nisa Supol, is here with us this morning to give us all of the details concerning the VRP. Nisa, thank you very much for coming this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. What should we know about the Vacation Revision Program? Well, the Vacation Revision Program is a free exciting program offered by the Ministry of Education. It gives students opportunities to enhance their competencies in areas that are essential for a strong educational foundation in the fundamental areas of mathematics, English language arts, and English language arts writing. There are also sessions in visual and performing arts courtesy the Best Village Unit, and there is also support from uh, school social workers and guidance counselors for both parents and students. Yeah. At what ages are you speaking about? So the program is run both at the primary school and the secondary school. At the primary school level, it will be for students who are in standards three and four. So they will be entering standards four and five in September at 80 uh, primary schools as listed on the ministry's website. And at the secondary school level, it will be for students who would have sat the secondary entrance assessment. They are entering school uh, form one in September with a composite score below 195.249. When does the program begin? So for the primary level, it has already begun. Um, it runs from July 5th to August 6th. And at the secondary level, it began on Monday, uh, July 15th until August 16th. All right. So is there still time to register children? Of course. So there is no need to register at the primary school level because those students are already enrolled at the 80 primary schools. At the secondary school level, yes, uh, parents can still register. You can register online at the Ministry of Education's website, www.moe.gov.tt or at any of the 19 secondary school centers as listed on the ministry's website. All right, so these classes or the program is conducted in the school environment, at their, at their schools, right? Yes, at the primary school level, the students will be doing the program at their said primary schools. At the secondary school level though, um, because we have 19 centers, a parent can choose any one of the 19 locations, not necessarily the school that the student will be attending in September. Yes. So what time do students have to report every morning? And it goes from Monday to Friday, right? Yes, it is from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yes. So it's a, a full day of, of school? It's a full were. day of activities. So there will be engagement with content as well as there are other fun activities offered. Yeah. Why should parents encourage their children to register for the program? That's an excellent question, and there are many reasons. So um, meals are provided free to every student every day. And of course, parents can choose any one of the 19 secondary school locations, so one that is closest to your residence, not necessarily the one the student will be attending in September. But it's also a chance for your child to jumpstart the secondary school education. And if there were any challenging concepts encountered at the primary school level, this will also be a chance to re-engage. And uh, there is support for both parents and students from the Student Support Services Division. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the impact, because I believe the program began, is it in 2020? Last, last year. Last year? Yes. Um, let's talk about the impact that it has, ch uh, it has had on the children um, and um, to assist them with their education and their success, really. Okay, so we have seen improvement in the secondary entrance assessment already based on the intervention for standards three and four last year. And also, we are seeing improvement at the secondary school level for the students who have engaged in the program. Let's talk about the numbers. How many students are you all catering for? So at the primary school level, we are catering for 2,300 students. At the secondary school level, we will not be able to tell yet because remember, those would be students based on their SEA performance as well as any parent who decides they would like to enroll their child. Yeah. 
where can parents get additional information? You did speak about the website and so yes, on. Yes, uh, www.moe.gov.tt, uh, Vacation Program 2024. All right. Lisa, any additional information you'd like to share with us before you leave us yes, today? Yes, I want to tell students that this is an ideal opportunity to engage, to have small classes with personalized instruction, also the visual and performing arts sessions, promises to be very fun. There's TASA, Dramology and Dance. Um, students can also get that sense of comfort and confidence entering Form 1. And there is the Turn Up Caravan, courtesy Corporate Communications, where students ha uh, can have uh, engage with motivational speakers. There are information booths and also lots of giveaways. Yeah. But From what I'm hearing, Nisa, it would seem that the program is really aimed at developing not only the education side of the individual, but is targeting the, the child in a holistic way, right? That is true. So it's about all-round development, giving them not only opportunities for education, but opportunities to recognize that there are other avenues. We can have fun in those avenues, but uh, we can also see that there's a future in terms of employment and engagement. Yes. And just to remind you what Nisa said at the beginning, the few seconds that she got into the interview, and our discussion is that the program is free. It is free, yes. Right? So I think it is safe to say, Nisa, that there is no reason why parents should not enroll their children into the program. I totally support what you have just said, and it's just a reminder to parents, please visit the Ministry of Education's website and get your children enrolled. Yeah, Nisa, it was a pleasure speaking with you this morning. Thank you very much for all of the information that you have shared Thank with you us. so much for having me, and all the best to you. All right, to you too. All right, so we are going to have a very short break, everybody. We're coming back. Oh,